Buzz, that was utterly terrifying, and I regret having joined you. The year was 2019, and I just finished wiping away tears after witnessing the incredible moving ending of Toy Story 4, thinking this was also the end of the franchise. How wrong was I? Pixar is once again returning to their incredibly successful toy box focusing on Buzz Lightyear specifically, and while it may not be the return of the Buzz Lightyear of Star Command TV series, the new film Lightyear looks out of this world. Well, the critics' opinions are in, so does it live up to such lofty expectations and beyond? Here's the review roundup. First up is Brian Lowry of CNN who states, although the action should entertain kids with its space-faring visuals, the bigger concepts in Lightyear, the ones that have elevated Pixar through the years, are thought-provoking, if perhaps not of the quality that has elevated the animation studio's work to another level. They don't rival something like Up, whose lessons come to mind, and the most consistently pleasing addition might be among the silliest, a robot cat named Socks who behaves like a household pet, yet also proves extremely useful in a pinch. Next is Stephanie Zakarek of Time Magazine who states, as with all Pixar movies, there are several embedded bromides, including Don't Be Afraid to Make Mistakes, with its attendant footnote for Mistakes Come Innovation. The ever-popular Face Your Fears is also represented. Socks is the secret star of Lightyear. But not even he is a great enough creation to warrant his own spin-off. Sometimes being the second or third banana, or cat, is reward enough in itself and a character who's just the right size for a toy box may not be big enough to carry his own movie. Next is Owen Gleiberman of Variety who states, Throughout the movie, Buzz keeps trying to get home, he wants to resume his life of space exploration. He doesn't realize that with his friends around him, he already is home. That's a touching, if standard, message, but I couldn't help but agree with Buzz, that as solid an entertainment as Lightyear is, it feels like he belongs in a more special movie. It makes you wonder, is Woody's Wild West going to be next? Because that sounds like a way, through sheer spin-off opportunism, of taking the toy, and maybe the joy, out of Toy Story. We move on to Sophie Butcher of Empire Magazine who states, whilst that title card provides somewhat of an answer as to how Lightyear fits in with Pixar's pioneering original animation, it doesn't necessarily justify its existence. There's certainly some enjoyment to be had here, but the film is weighed down by genericness and loyalty to the existing IP coming up short against fully original, specific yet universal Pixar output like Turning Red, Coco or Inside Out. Though the underlying themes of teamwork, family and leadership are nicely played, they're also fairly surface level, never quite reaching the heights of infinity, nor beyond. And finally, David Ehrlich of IndieWire states, finish the mission may be a flawed mantra, but it loses all of its punch in a film whose purpose is so uncertain from the start. The pandemic has certainly played a part in the company's strategy, but if Disney continues to pump retrograde franchise spin-offs into theaters while forcing people to watch the likes of Luca and Turning Red on TV, it won't be long until fans settle in on Connie Prime and lose interest in leaving home. Yesterday it was to infinity and beyond. Tomorrow it might be no further than the couch. I hope you're ready for action, because all we needed was a pilot. For what? To destroy the alien ship. I have a plan and I have a team. Darby can take any three things and make them explode. I do this, and they shave a little time off my sentence. Okay. In the end, the film amassed a critical score of 82% from 90 reviews on Rotten Tomatoes. Such numbers would indicate that majority of the critics love the film. However, digging a little deeper, you will find that Pixar's latest is considered one of its weakest. The rest of us will just have to find out for ourselves when Lightyear hit theater on June 17th. Hmm, seems a bit low. Mission failure imminent. In three. Grandma always said she believed in you. Two. Yeah. One. That was a big swirly do. Oh, I think I need a bag. No, no. Please record your last words. Do not vomit inside the vehicle. Not you may also be interested in our first look at Disney's Strange World, and our previous review roundup for the Bob's Burger movie. <laughs>